Thank you for tuning in to our Retirement Education Center YouTube channel, where on this channel, we believe in providing you unbiased advice to help you maximize all of your retirement income. Now on our channel, we do not believe in providing you any silver bullet strategies or glorifying any type of one product. But what we do believe in are holistic concepts that will help you retire with confidence. So today, what I would like for you to do is envision yourself turning in your retirement report card. Would that report card have all A's on it or would you actually be failing? Now, if, if you think you might be failing, we are going to try to help you pass today because we are going to be talking about questions that you need to have the answer to in order to have an A plus retirement. So you definitely gonna to wanna to stay locked in today. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, President and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And my name is Andrea Graves, Director of Operations at the Retirement Education Center. And we wanna thank you for tuning in to our Retirement Education Concepts videos. These videos were created to help to make the difficult and confusing retirement process simple. Absolutely, Andrea, because with so many retirement products out there, so many retirement concepts, and of course, so many retirement strategies, it can become very difficult for consumers to digest it all. That's why we're so fortunate that we work with a team of expert advisors to help us formulate a roadmap that's going to let our clients know when, where, and how they can reach their retirement goals. For additional concepts on how to maximize your retirement, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. So Carson, retirement success is what everyone wants. And of course, it's always about how do we get there? Of course, Andrew, it's always about how do we get there in every aspect of life, right? Right. You know, when it comes to retirement success, you know, wanting and achieving are two different things. Um, of course, wanting is half the battle, though. You know, you cannot achieve without actually wanting something from yourself. But when it comes to just wanting, there are steps and there are questions that you can be asking yourself when it relates to your retirement situation. And if you get the answer to those questions, Andrea, Having retirement success can become very, very attainable. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that, there are two rules to retirement income that we like to give you. And what are those two rules? Well, rule number one is to never run out of money. And rule number two is to never forget rule number one. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about the transition of just wanting retirement success and actually achieving retirement success. So Carson, the first question that people should want to answer is regarding health. What is it that they need to know about health? You know, we talk about health a lot on our channel now, mm -hmm. you know, because I see that that is more prevalent now than ever before with all the pandemics that we are now starting to see and all the different variants of the pandemic that we see now. And so one of the things that I think people should be able to answer, Andrew, is that if they were walking down the street, would they recognize their doctor or their primary care physician? Or do they even have a primary care physician, right? Studies have shown, Andrea, that people who are able to get regular checkups can absolutely add many, many years to their life because they understand what's going on with their bodies. Mm -hmm. Now, many of us will take our cars into the body shop to get its annual checkup. Um, and we certainly like to do that before the check engine light will come on. Well, that's the same aspect that you need to be taking with your, your health and with your body. Now, we don't really want to wait till the check engine light comes on before we are actually seeking out medical um, help or seeking out um, information about our bodies. That's a good point. So, yeah. So we need to make sure that we're doing that. Another aspect of health that I think is overlooked, Andrea, is checking on our teeth, right? You know, you know that, you know, we like to get our teeth clean even once or twice a year. I think it's very important because studies have shown that inflammation in your gums can actually lead to heart disease. So a lot of times people are overlooking that aspect of their health. And I just want to point that out, that not just going to your primary care physician or going to the doctor to get that annual checkup, but also you know going to your dentist and making sure that you have healthy gums so that your body can still be functional and not lead to any type of situation down the road that's going to cause even more problems. Another question, Andrew, under this topic that I want to make sure that people understand that they have the answer to is when was the last time you were in the gym or went for a long walk. When was the last time your heart rate was up? 
You know, this is a very important um, question that you should have the answer to. And that answer should not be last month or last year, for God's sakes. You know, you want to make sure that you have a daily uh, regimen of working out and increasing your heart rate. Now, that can be a variety of things. Like I mentioned, it could be going for a walk. It could be going to the gym to do some sort of weight training. It can even be going dancing. It can be doing any of those things in which your heart rate is actually getting up to a certain level. But this part of your retirement success is extremely important, maintaining good health. Well, Carson, that was really great insight. Um, and another aspect of retirement success that people should want an answer to is where will they live? Yeah, Andrew, that is extremely important. You know, have you thought about this? You know, if you're retiring, have you thought about where are you going to live? Now, think about your own house right now. Um, if you were thinking about your grandparents, your elderly grandparents, you know, if you're thinking about them living in your house, would they have trouble functioning within your home? And if the answer to that is yes, because they can't get up the stairs or they may not be able to get up the steps, well, then that's going to be you in your later retirement years. And so you're going to have to make sure that your home is able to be functional for someone who is going to be aging in that particular property. So do you have to make renovations? Um, or do you have a good long-term care policy in which you can have assistant care um, so you can actually live independently in your home so you don't have to depend on relatives and so forth? Also, think about your neighborhood. If you're not capable of driving, are you able to get to all the things that you need access to, like groceries and going to your doctor? Or will you need to rely on someone to take you there? So therefore, do you have someone that lives close to you that may be a close friend or relative that can help you? So you have to think about all of these things when you're actually going to retire. Do you know where you're going to live and where you're living? Are you going to be able to function properly as you age in that particular area? Well, Carson, some people get lonely in retirement or even bored. Um, is there an answer to this question or even maybe some concern? Yeah, this is definitely, Andrea, a question that people should have the answer to in order to pass their retirement class. You know, if you think about now, if you haven't retired yet, you know, once you do retire, can you name some activities in which you're going to be actively involved in? You know, are you going to be joining any type of social club? Do you plan to play a little golf, tennis? Um, do you plan to teach a, a class maybe at a local college? You know, what are you planning to do? Because many studies have shown, Andrew, that retirees who have fulfillment or purpose in life, they tend to have a much longer and happier retirement. And so this is one of the things that you have to make sure that you have a direct answer to, because like you said, you really don't want to become bored or lonely, which can also lead to depression in retirement. So make sure that when you're retiring, that you have some things that you're planning to do that's going to keep you actively involved and communicating with people within your same realm. Now, Carson, the last question you say people should know in their retirement is knowing their budget. Yeah, this is really simple, right? We talk right. about budgets all the time, but this is so important when you're retiring because why? You're now on a fixed income. So what you really need to do, Andrew, before you retire is add up all of your fixed and variable expenses, add them up to the T, and then of course, add up your retirement income sources from Social Security, Perhaps you have a pension, decide how much you're going to be taking from your um, retirement distributions, from your uh, retirement plans, add up all of those income sources. And if the latter, your retirement plans, your income sources is less than the former, your variable and fixed expenses, then you're not ready to pass retirement class. You need to start doing some things. You need to start maybe some downsizing. You need to start thinking about what you can cut out of your budget, because until you get that income, greater than your expenses, you're absolutely not ready to retire. So make sure that budgeting and understanding your expense um, relationship to your income is in order. Because if you can answer all of these questions that we've gone over today, Andrew, you will have an A plus retirement. Well, Carson, thank you again for your insight on this topic and thank you for watching. And if you felt this information was beneficial for you, please like this video and share with others. So I really hope that today's information was beneficial for you to help you understand how you can have an A plus retirement. 
Please understand that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always seek out your own financial advisor, your own tax advisor, and your own attorney regarding your personal situation. Also, if you are looking for a fiduciary financial advisor to help you with these types of complex financial matters, we highly recommend that you utilize the links in our description below and go ahead and schedule a one hour free consultation with us today. For more information about this topic or any of the other topics that we've shared in our other videos, please feel free to reach out to our office or leave any questions or comments in the section below. After this video, please check out our other videos that we've created that will give you tips on how to maximize your retirement. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching and remember if you have questions, we have answers.